this controller is made out of a seven dollar arcade usb encoder a ten dollar arcade joystick and a seven dollar computer program for windows called uh, joy to key it's a very easy project so i'll show you how i use it and then how i made it we're cutting out a small part today out of this piece of quarter inch mild steel scrap the part will fit in this area and uh, in order to use this steel plate efficiently i have to position my torch at work zero uh, which i programmed to be in this uh, corner here so i'm going to uh, move the torch to the exact correct location with my uh, joystick first i will uh, turn on the laser and now it's in the jog mode so we'll turn off the jog mode move it to the approximate location a little far so now i'm going back into 1 16th jogs that's about uh, that's about right when it's cutting it will of course the z-axis will be lower but i'm raising the z-axis here for visibility uh, i have to double check the work zeros button on the computer we don't have a joystick button for it because there is no uh, keyboard shortcut for it. Uh, and uh, I double checked that the torch is on. My splash shields are in a good position. So I'm about ready to press the start button right here. Alright, so the cut is done. Um, let me raise the torch uh, out of the way. And move it over so you can see it better. Um, there is the part and uh, the joystick works pretty well. So here is a close-up of my joystick pendant. Uh, I attach it to the machine with uh, two rare earth magnets that have studs that uh, screw through uh, my box and I made an, a simple aluminum splash shield for it because of course uh, plasma cutting with a water table is a uh, wet uh, process. I have every button here for which uh, currently Langmire has a keyboard uh, shortcut so uh, various various um, X and Y axis uh, movements, of course the Z axis up and down, um, start, pause and uh, E stop button and I have a switch uh, for my laser. Let me lift up the Z axis so you can see the laser beams um, over here. So in the future if Langmuir gives us more keyboard shortcuts um, we will be able to have an even better uh, remote control pendant for, for the machine. In particular, I'd like to have a uh, set work uh, zero button and the torch on and off button. So if we had keyboard shortcuts for these two functions, uh, this would be awesome. This controller is made out of a zero delay arcade USB encoder. Uh, it's available on eBay if you're willing to wait for it to be delivered from China for $7 or you can get it on Amazon for $10 to $12 for very rapid delivery. This device will uh, be recognized as a USB joystick with buttons when you plug it into your uh, computer and then software will be used on the computer to assign actions to these buttons. Langbuer Fire Control has keyboard shortcuts for functions such as start, pause, emergency stop, and of course the X and Y and Z axis buttons. So uh, by uh, attaching buttons to this board or attaching a joystick to this board like I did, you can um, control your uh, Langmuir 
uh, Crossfire machine using the keyboard shortcuts in the fire control uh, software. The uh, joystick is also affordable. The board comes with uh, wires that have the uh, JSTXH uh, connectors already attached to them. And this is important because um, most people who will be buying it do not have a JSTXH crimper. At the other end of these wires that are used for the buttons are uh, spade connectors that will go on almost any uh, push button, which you're also going to need. And uh, the joystick is connected to it by a ribbon cable that um, also has JSTXH connectors. And uh, my joystick just came with a uh, correct uh, ribbon cable. So this is very, very easy to put together. This is a quick and easy plug and play project, except that you have to find your box, decide where the buttons are gonna be, drill the box, figure out how to attach your circuit board inside the box and deal with the wire run on your machine. I also have lasers turned on and off on this box and I decided not to power the laser using um, USB power from the computer. As I've read, there may not be enough um, amps available uh, from a laptop uh, USB port. So that created a wiring complication. I had to splice a four conductor USB cable into this six conductor cable that goes to my box, but that's completely optional. The USB cable supplied uh, with the board is perfectly adequate uh, if you don't have additional switches there. And my laser switch could have easily been uh, elsewhere in the machine. This USB joystick is quite large even after I trimmed uh, some extra metal off the ends and uh, drilled through the uh, mounting holes that are actually present in the plastic there, uh, it still occupied most of my four inch waterproof electrical box. Here is the back of the joystick. On the back of the joystick, there is this clear part which actually contains two parts. Uh, the purpose of this is to retain the four switches so they don't fall off, uh, but also this is the part that allows this to function as a four-way and an eight-way joystick, and we need a four-way joystick. And in a four-way operation, it will only be allowed to move in one direction and push one switch in eight-way operation, it gets to put two switches. And so the limitation on the movement of the stick is uh, through this. This has two components, this inner ring, which is um, square. And when it's at 45 degrees like this, you have a four-way joystick. And when it's like this, you have an eight-way joystick. And currently it's in the eight-way position. So the inner ring, has to be pushed out toward you when you're looking at the back of it. This is hard to demonstrate. And then it can be turned by 45 degrees. Here we go. There. So now it's in this 45 degree position. So it's hard to see that there are actually two pieces of plastic and that this center rotates. And so now I'm gonna snap this back on. And this is now a four-way joystick. It, it can't go into it's physically prevented from going into the corner. So it'll push only one button. It will push only one button at a time. And that's how we want it because fire control does not have diagonal movement. So all of the wiring is connected. I'm ready to button up the box and uh, start programming. So let's go over the joy to key program. Uh, it costs $7. It's a shareware. So at first it's free to try, but, um, they would like you to pay $7, which I think is a fair price. So it opens like this. There's a joystick one, and I already named it Plasma right here. Uh, and I'm only going to have one joystick on this computer. And I have my box uh, fully wired up and ready so I can test the buttons. And so when you, when you use your joystick function or a button, it will show you in yellow... Uh, what kind of button you're activating. Um, 
so you don't even know you don't have to know how you connected them and so once you identified like this should be down and it's already programmed as down but let's uh, program it as something else so you go to this stick button one and this is where it's already programmed as down but we can go and make it a G so now now every time I pulled it I pulled the stick down it's going to press the letter G on the keyboard which is not what we need here and that's not what our software does so let's change it back uh, to the down button it changed and we save OK and uh, so these are all the various hats on complex kind of fighter jet type joysticks so then we go down to buttons and these are the many buttons available so button number seven is my jog button and the jog is the tab key so same same thing you open this and you just you place the cursor here and you hit tab you could hit you could hit d but you don't need d you need tab so highlight it hit tab close this put the cursor here hit tab that's it you programmed uh, your button uh, to do tab um, same as with my page up and page down button for the z-axis here they are they work so the tricky ones are the start and the emergency stop so this is my start button it's button number six right here and uh, this software makes it ridiculously easy it's alt r so you put alt in the upper box and you put r in the lower box and that's all and it'll do the alt r for you um, and it's the same way for my e-stop button let me find it where is it there it is button number four and it's alt s and it's programmed the same way alt and s and when the fire control is open and uh, joy to key is open in the background uh, that's when your joystick will work so uh, there it is Thank you.